but you've got to maintain discipline, all right? You didn't get looked out at World Cup, mate. I did. <laughs> well, I, I didn't get picked. <laughs> In this video, I want to talk about something a bit different than normal. I want to show you how you can hugely improve your rugby game without actually getting better at rugby. This is inspired by a quote from British and Irish Lion, Paul O'Connell, as told in an interview here with Warren Gatlin. Let's be the best at everything that requires no talent. Because <laughs> there's a lot of things in the game that require no talent. Getting up off the ground quickly, chasing a kick, you know, getting back on defence. Doesn't, doesn't require any talent, it just requires effort. So let's be the best at everything that requires no talent. I thought it was one of the best sayings that I've ever heard in the game, you know. This idea has been repeated over and over again throughout top-level rugby. So don't worry if you can't throw a 40-yard miss pass or give an out-the-back-door offload or do whatever the hell this is. Even if you've got no rugby talent at all, you can still improve. The main reason it makes sense in rugby to look at the parts of the game that require no talent or even any rugby skill is that for most players, they spend the majority of their time not directly involved with the ball. Take for example Mauro Toje. Undoubtedly, one of the best players in the world right now, immensely talented and extremely hardworking. However, if you were to look at his average match stats, there are only a handful of times in the game where he's relying on his talent and rugby skills. In an 80 minute game, he's probably only actually flexing his talents for a total of a few minutes. The rest of the game is a combination of his positional awareness and hard work. And these are the two keys, positioning and hard work. So let's firstly look at positioning. Of course some people are more talented at positional awareness than other people, but most people with a rugby brain will be able to tell you when someone is out of position. That's why people shout at their TVs and question the abilities of some of the top level players every weekend. But being able to be stood on the field 60 minutes into a game and knowing whether you should make the tackle or drift across, or if you should be on one side of the ruck or the other, or if you need to stay back and cover for a kick, all this requires good positional awareness and understanding of the game. So how can you get better at positioning? Well, of course, I'm going to plug myself and say you should follow Rugby Slate for daily play breakdowns. But the best way to get your head around positioning is to watch a game of rugby, but make an active effort to watch your position. For example, if you're a winger, watch a game, but don't follow the ball. Instead, focus where the wingers are and think, why are they there? Another quick plug is that if you're in the back three, the Pendulum Defence video I made previously would help you with this. So yes, good news, you can grab a beer and watch the rugby and tell everyone it's very important rugby training. Sadly, the second thing to work on is nowhere near as easy. It's the total opposite. Hard work. It's one thing to know what position you should be in and what you should be doing, but being able to do it is a completely different thing. Look at this clip from England playing Ireland. But here, let's focus on the pale orc himself, Sam Underhill. Nothing in this clip is anything a normal local club player couldn't do. But in this two minute clip, he assists in four tackles, seals off two rucks, is a pass option twice, gets the ball once, and never misses a single phase by being on the floor or out of position. That is nothing but hard work and commitment. This is hours and hours of fitness work off the pitch. As the almighty Johnny Wilkinson once said, You know, 90% is training, 10% is playing the game in terms of actual time. But that 90% is all geared towards the 10%. So not only do you have to put the hard work in during the game, but the hard work in during training. And this training should reflect what you should be doing in the game. There's no point spending hours working on your pass when on match day you only get the ball a couple of times and spend the rest of it with your head in a ruck. So train hard and train smart and when it comes to the game put in as much effort as you can. So if you do all this, if you combine positional awareness and hard work you'll be able to be in the right place at the right time throughout the game. And when you're off the ball, there'll be no discernible difference between you and any international player. If you need to improve your positional awareness and game understanding, do check out the other videos on my channel and also follow me on social media as I post regular play breakdowns. Please also consider checking out the Rugby Slate Animator. As a coach, it's a great tool to show the positioning of players, either in drills or in a real live game situation. And for players, it's a great way of building a playbook. Please like and share this video as it helps me out a lot and subscribe to see some more rugby content.